Bangladesh, a vibrant and dynamic country, and also a place facing many challenges. One of the greatest challenges for the people in Bangladesh is the access to clean drinking water. Therefore, Dr. Amanda Wind from the Institute of Public Health, Dr. Martin Meyer from the Department of Geosciences and Charlotte Stirn from the Institute of Geography founded the interdisciplinary research group Arsenic and Groundwater in the Heidelberg Center for the Environment. Our goal is to understand the socio-cultural and sanitary factors that influence arsenic mobilization, arsenic contamination, groundwater in Bangladesh. Our long-term goal is to, through understanding these strategies, be able to recommend household level practices and policy level um, practices that can mitigate arsenic contamination and hopefully eliminate it. The group assumes that one of the major reasons for arsenic in the water may be the latrines, which are often built too close to groundwater wells and may contaminate the drinking water. We came up with the idea that there might be anthropogenic uh, reasons also contributing to this problem. And um, there are right now some indicators that um, people in Bangladesh have coli bacteria in water, which is an indicator that there's uh, definitely effect on anthropogenic uh, and um, for us it's interesting that nobody else came up with the idea that maybe the arsenic problem is also related to these uh, fecals, the people they put through latins to the groundwater. In Bangladesh, the team takes water samples and conducts surveys with the local population. Back in Germany, the research group analyzes the water samples to test the arsenic content of different wells. The analyzed surveys, water samples and flow patterns are then brought together to understand how socioeconomic behavior may influence the arsenic contamination. Based on the results, the team seeks to develop mechanisms to improve the quality of drinking water. I wish that we can come, come up with some way of um, offering them a solution. They would like to have an option to um, clean their water to have a filter system, but there's actually nothing on the market which is affordable. In addition to academic findings, the fieldwork has led to a number of unique personal experiences as well. Last February we went to a countryside, to a village, to do some water sampling and it was a very poor family and they had a very shabby hut made of bamboo and on the past there was a meadow, a very brown meadow, and there was a very skinny cow. You could count every single rib on this cow. And there was just nothing that uh, had to give you the impression that people had some food, but a coconut tree. And on the coconut tree, they had four coconuts. And when we finished samples, they were gone. We, we got them for eating. And um, there was just no way to uh, refuse this offer. There was no way to refund. Uh, so it was, for us, was just like uh, astonishing that these people very poor, they give their last food to, to us. I was so impressed by, by the Bangladeshi people. It's, it's such, a, such an amazing culture. The people are so friendly and open-minded and interested. It really amazed me so much that I really wanted to stay in this project and keep working in it. <laughs>